Blog Talk Radio. Good afternoon, friends. Welcome, one and all, to another episode of Magic Universe with Sharona. And I am your radio host and your magical mama, Sharona Rapsick. I am an artist and a designer and an angel whisperer. And yes, I really do talk to angels, but you can too. And I'm also a tarot master teacher an angel Reiki master and a life coach. And I'm also a teacher of the magical and intuitive arts. And I'm coming to you today live from the Big Apple, New York City. I'm so happy that you were joining me today. And this little radio show is all about awakening and embracing your inner personal power and self-confidence as well as uh, bringing magic and miracles into all areas of your life, simply by using a little bit of help from our angels and guides and the divine and loving conscious energy of the magic universe that we are each a part of. So if you're ready to live your magic and be who you really are meant to be, then join me during this hour. And I am going to invite you to step into your power and awaken your true magic. This little show is brought to you by the Psychic Talk Radio Network, which is the one and only radio network with spirit and psychic you. So when you get a moment, you're going to want to visit www.psychictalk.net to learn more about our past and upcoming radio shows our hosts, as well as our online courses that we offer at Psychic U. And while you're there, you might want to check out my course, the Certified Angel Reiki Practitioner Course, which is the only online course where you can get certified both as a Yasui Reiki Master and an Angel Reiki Master. This show is also brought to you by the Tarot School, And you're going to want to check out, when you get a few moments, the uh, tarotschool.com. And you're going to find a lot of cool stuff on their website. Now, they also offer uh, Monday evenings at the Tarot Salon on Zoom. So when you go to tarotschool.com to register, uh, you'll be able to learn more. And they also have a really cool newsletter, uh, Tarot School Tarot Tips, so uh, you're, you're going to want to also sign up for their fabulous newsletter. And uh, while you're there, you might want to check out my column, uh, Meet the Reader. And this month, my interview is with Psychic Talk Radio Network's own Mr. Dax Carlisle. Okay, so let me just tell you a little bit about this show. It is a live call-in radio show. And here we talk about such topics as angels, uh, crystals, energy healing, tarot and oracle cards, astrology, synchronicity, the law of attraction, but most importantly, how to raise your energy so that you have good, good, good high vibrations. And that is so you'll be able to create and generate more love and magic into your life. Magic Universe is on the air live always on the second and fourth Sunday of each and every month. So uh, you can listen to our shows on the World Wide Web at PsychicTalk.net Live on your Internet browser, but you can also listen in on your phone, too. And you do that simply by calling in to 714-816-4628 which reminds me to tell you that this is a live call-in show. So if you would like a free mini reading, an angel message, a little 
Angel Reiki or maybe to chat with our special guests, uh, you're going to want to call in. And once again, the number is 714-816-4628. Now, that would be just to listen. But if you'd like to get in the uh, on the in the queue to maybe go live on the air and talk to us live, you're going to need to push the number one on your phone keypad, and that will uh, flag us on the switchboard. And we do take calls in the order that they are received, so uh, don't hang up because you will lose your spot. Also, during our live shows, you can uh, go into our chat room post. And if you're on the um, on your browser, what you want to do is go all the way down to the bottom of the page, and you'll be able to go into the chat room and uh, send out a message, say hello, or, or ask a question. Okay. So, my friends, now that we're... We're through with all of that awesome, fun stuff. Uh, we are going to get started with our show today. And we have a really special, special guest today. I am so excited. I am so happy to have her here. Uh, her name is Sasha Graham, and she's a tarot master. Now, there's, that's not all. Sasha Graham is a best-selling author of over 10 books and tarot kits, including 365 tarot spreads and the Llewellyn Complete Book um, for the Rider Waite Smith deck. She's also the creator of one of my favorite tarot decks, the Darkwood Tarot. Now, Sasha teaches tarot classes and produces tarot events. Um, in New York at New York's premier cultural institutions, including the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And Sasha has appeared on film, television, radio, and in the New York Times. Now, we're going to be talking about her newest book, which I have just read through and I've started reading again. It is The Magic of Tarot. Your Guide to Intuitive Readings, Rituals, and Spreads. So uh, I want to welcome our wonderful guest. Hi, Sasha Graham. Welcome. Hello. Hello. Thank you for having me. Oh, I. this is going to be such a great show, and I see that our switchboard is really lighting up, so... We are. We have a lot of people out there that are so interested in what you do. And as I said earlier, this show is all about love and magic. So uh, we always start off by asking our special guests, how do you bring love and magic into your life? Oh, that's such a wonderful question. So... <laughs> Well, I like to kind of um, imagine that my entire life is a spell. Uh, I like the idea that for each of us, our life is actually an enchantment. So um, in order to kind of live in the space of magic continually, um, there's a few things that I that I like to do uh, in order to kind of keep myself in alignment with the expanding universe. Um, and so that includes reading tarot on a daily basis, um, but also practicing um, uh, uh, very Buddhist kind of uh, theories of non-attachment, but also trying very much to live in the present moment, a, kind of take each moment as it comes and then it's very easy to kind of fill your life with love um, if you have an active tarot or magic practice because every moment then, not that any mo every moment is perfect um, and that life becomes perfect because, of course, that's ridiculous. That's impossible. We're all human. Um, but it's very easy to live in a space of love if you're practicing um, you know, non-attachment, and if you're take, and if you're, and if you're kind of rooted into the present moment. So yeah, that's that's, I guess, 
in a, in a nutshell, <laughs> how I bring how I bring magic and love into my life, and um, and I just always remember as well that you know that every day is a gift, that every moment is really a gift, and um, and I think that yeah, like I, I I'm highly appreciative of of the things that come my way and the things that I'm able to create, um, and so in that way I'm kind of in love with everything in my life. Yeah, well, love is the greatest uh, magic of all, and it certainly boosts any coming from love. You certainly achieve a greater, a greater magic, a greater gift. Exactly, exactly. And I think that you know, I think that it, 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 you can really easily say like people tend to come either from a place of love or from a place of fear, and I think that working with tarot. Uh, having an active tarot practice in your life really teaches you a kind of points to the places in which uh, there is repression and an attempt to control, which I think stems from fear. So so the cards are really good at calling you out on that, and you start to notice and recognize your patterns because tarot speaks to the repetitious nature of the world. Um, yeah, and so so that you can kind of call yourself out when you're getting too close to being being uh, too much on the tight end, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, and and I love that you say that your life is a spell. You know, that's just Mm -hmm. a a wonderful way to look at uh, what's going on. It really is, and I, you know, and that's one of the things that I like to. One of the, my favorite things to do when I'm teaching is, and especially I think in the metaphysical world or in the world of magic and yoga and mind, body, spirit stuff. It's very easy, I think, for people to think that like magic belongs to other people, to like the witch next door or to the guru down the street in India. You know, those are the magical wands or the priest in the pulpit. But the fact of the matter is every single one of us is a supernatural creature. Every single one of us is psychic. We're all intuitive. We all have third eyes that are already open. You know, it's just our kind of joy as a human to move deeper into any of those places. Um, so, so magic belongs to all of us. It's not exclusive to, to teachers or gurus or priests or anything like that. It's our birthright as human beings and for, you know, our short experience here on Earth. Yeah, why? Well, you know, I'm always telling people that um, we're doing magic, whether we know it or not. So yes. one of the things that I like to put out there is realize that that you're doing it. You know, you're creating the spell. And it's funny that the word is spell because a lot of it has to do with our words and our thoughts. And it's so interesting how in the English language, it's the word spell. Mm-hmm. Which, of course, in tarot relates to the suit of swords, right? It's the way, the way you think yeah. about something or the way you describe something to yourself or to other people. And, and just how much power there is in the act of naming something or calling something out or spelling it out, you know, in your language. It's so true. Yeah, yeah, and um, I know that reading through your book, uh, you're also a storyteller, and it's our stories that also help us to create. So tell us a little bit more about that, because I love I I love stories, and I love writing stories. Yes, yes. So, and and once again, you know, in the book I do say, you know, I I read the tarot and I read for other people because I'm a storyteller. And that's what you're doing when any, when we all read cards for ourselves or another person, you know, we're telling stories. But we're all innate storytellers and it's what we do all day long. We're telling ourselves stories. Um, we, We have the inner storyteller, right, which is the inner voice inside of our head that is automatically assigning a narrative to everything around us that happens. I mean, we all think the world revolves completely around us. You know, we all take everything personally. Somebody cuts us off in traffic, and we think we must have done something to that person when, of course, you know, in actuality, 
maybe, you know, it's a woman driving to the hospital to deliver her baby. Like, who knows? It has nothing to do with us. Uh, but in our head, of course, we think everything has to do with us. And then there's the story that we're constantly telling to other people when we're relating the story of our day of our life, of our how we met our significant other, the story of how we grew up, or just, you know, everything, the way in which humans communicate is, is pure storytelling. What makes tarot so powerful is that it takes the story out of your head and really kind of spreads it on the table before you, you know, and Stuart Kaplan, the late, great Stuart Kaplan, who was responsible for bringing the Rider-Waite-Smith deck to market um, back in the early 70s, you know, he said, you know, tarot is a novel that's always changing. You know, he said, it, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a book that's always different because every time you meet and greet the cards, you're different, the moment is different, and the cards that appear for you are different. So when you move a little deeper into the practice of tarot, you recognize that it's not just the ability to change your story or to move deeper with your story, but also our innate ability to, to, to kind of change the entire context of, of the story or the genre with which we're living in. And we recognize that, like, um, once we move with greater depth into the story of who we are or once we break open the barriers of what we think that we're capable of, you know, everything changes. Everything changes. And so that's where I think the power of storytelling is so strong. And and then just in the ways that we're all kind of like walking books of knowledge for other people, so the way in which people are portals like tarot cards, and you can learn so much um, from the stories and just the way other people are. So, you know, yeah, it's it's to me it's all storytelling, and it's fabulous. I love it. I love it. And and I think the better storytellers that we become for ourselves, um, the more richer of a life we're able to lead. Oh, without a doubt. I love that how um, you said that um, each – you know, each car, it's like the, you know, it's, you know, some people say the uh, the tarot deck is a filing cabinet, you know, where you ha- or a library where you have all these different subjects, everything from astrology to numerology, you know, all of the, um, the, the sacred arts. But I love that you said it's also a book, and it's a book where when you shuffle it, the pages become different, you know, it's like different each time you come to it and you're different and um, yeah what a what a great way uh to look at it as being a book and what a great way to look at our lives that we are the stories that we tell ourselves and other people and also we are because we're magical because each one of us is a magician if we don't like something in our life, it doesn't mean that we have to forget that it happened, but we can re- rewrite our reaction to it and how we handled it. And no matter what might come up, you can make yourself the the leader, the heroine, the hero, and uh, by rewriting everything. But that mm-hmm. book, is, the idea of it being a book is really awesome way to look at it yeah yeah and if you think about it too even if you're looking at all of the esoteric systems that can so neatly be placed on top or inside of tarot because of tarot's you know innate structure it's so strong that you can place you know hermetic mysticism or astrology even in all of those things when you're looking at astrology what are the 12 signs of the zodiac but 12 stories you know and this is mm-hmm. there 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 are these it's kind of like you know it's kind of like shakespeare wrote all of those original stories like right i think it was something like 18 stories that we all retell in different ways um, and the zodiac operates and oh, the zodiac operates in the same way um all of, every, all of learning become is a story um so no matter 
kind of what the, the genre is or the what, what part of the filing cabinet you're kind of opening up inside of tarot, it will still unfold as a story because of the way we're built as humans, um, you know, to that, that three-act narrative structure. It's how we make sense of the world. Yes, yes. And, um, you know, I just, you know, I can go on forever talking about how much I love and how beneficial tarot is. But you now that since we're talking about books and storytelling, let's yes. talk about your wonderful book, which I have here in my hand. With, Aww. with its beautiful the cover. I love it. Yeah. Oh, thank you so Let's... much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah I, I mean, it was, a, know, it was. It was. It was. I'm sorry. No. No. Go ahead. <laughs> no, I was just gonna say. Um, the magic of tarot was really an opportunity for me to. Um, I had never written a beginner's book on tarot before. You know, I had. Um, I've written almost a dozen books now and innumerable like guidebooks to go along with tarot, but I had never kind of uh created something that like beginners could take um knowing absolutely nothing and kind of build their practice on and it was also the magic of tarot was also an opportunity for me to take some of the shadow work that is very near and dear to my heart that I wasn't able to put into the dark wood tarot I was able to go deeper with it into the magic of tarot so um and then I also wrote that the book very much as kind of like a a workbook um, for a more advanced reader where I'm constantly kind of prompting the reader, you know, like what do you think or what do you find inside of the cards? So you'll find a lot of journaling and writing prompts inside of the book. Um, yeah, so I think it's really useful uh, for a beginning or advanced reader. Oh, yeah. I. It's now become actually, and this is the, the honest truth, it has become – my favorite book to rec um, to recommend to people because this uh, Sasha, your book has everything. It's from the meaning of the cards, which you can get in many different books. But this is really about how to goes beyond this. How to make tarot and and along with it comes the magic because we are magical. But just to really live a magical tarot life and it's it's just it's just your book is just incredible thank I you love it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you thank you it kept me busy during the pandemic that's for sure <laughs> good work I, you know it's funny we might look back on this uh, pandemic as at least i'm i'm finding with my life that it was such a great period you know it wasn't great with all the the sickness and the death but it was a great time for introspection and creativity yeah and i love i mean i i, I had a hard time being creative i i won't lie i um it was it was really challenging it was very challenging and there were there were so many silver linings um, but there was also a lot of hardship that came along with it. But I do think in for a lot of people, um, a lot of people kind of came to terms with, yeah, like creatively where they wanted to be going and what was possible, you know, what was possible, yeah. which, yeah, um, yeah, that's really important. Yeah. And I love, too, that you also, I mean, there's like how to, you know, in your book you have how to use um, a lot of really wonderful tools that everyone loves, like a gemstones and incense and essential oils and yoga even. You know, this is, this is, this is living a magical tarot life in one little book. <laughs> Well, and one of one of the things that I love about tarot so much about about working with the cards is that tarot is very well magic in general is a very sensual art. So when I you know I think I have a chapter in there where I'm talking about sacred rituals and readings and like 
and I love the whole idea of a kind of like glamorous gypsy fortune teller, you know, who's like all made up with like bangly bracelets and like long eyelashes. And so I love the theatricality of tarot reading. And and it, it's curious, right, as to why that even exists. And, you know, the deeper I've um, moved into it and you look at the correlation um, between magical ritual, which, like you said, it involves everything that kind of um, soothes the senses, from incense to candles to um, beautiful lighting to music. It's all the same thing that you find in world religions, right, in in masses, in yoga, um, in any kind of a sacred space. And the whole point, the whole point of kind of seducing your senses via beautiful clothing and beautiful, you know, music, is that you're opening up your body um, to become ready to receive something, a teaching or wisdom. And so I love that. I love that with a deck of tarot cards, it kind of gives you a very simple license to turn something as simple as your kitchen ta- table into something incredibly magical if you choose to do that, if that feels good to you, if that's something that you enjoy. And so you can take, you know, one single dark night in November, light a single candle and start reading your cards and literally magic will unfold all around you or who knows what will unfold all around you. But again, it's that like rooting into the moment, uh, reaching into the darkness um, and flipping a card and seeing what happens and you never know. And that's the other fabulous thing about tarot that to this day, Every time I pull a card, I kind of hold my breath. And, you know, like so many of us, I've been reading cards for decades. <laughs> you know, you think it would get old. It never gets old. It's always exciting. It's always fresh. Um, and so I think, that, I think that that's what makes tarot singularly an incredible tool for a magical life or a magical lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so fabulous. And I love... You're like me. I I like I'm reclaiming that word fortune teller because the fortune that I like to tell people that that I'm telling you about is the gift that you have within that you have mm-hmm. within, within your within your heart you have that magical intuitive connection and I that's 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 the fortune that I'm telling you about you know and that you, no matter what might come up in the cards, hey, that's just the cards. You, in the next breath, it might be possible, and it generally is, that you can change that completely or at least be prepared or, um, you know, it's like a GPS system. Such a cool it thing. Really is. Oh, my goodness. It really is, yeah. and we all have a magic wand, you know. And I always say this: the, the you know, the, our hair. Everybody's got a Harry Potter magic wand, and that magic wand is your attention, right? It's where you focus here. It's what you focus on. You light up with energy. Um, so I think that magic is often a lot simpler than people think. They think it's complicated, but it's not. It's the simplest oh, yeah. stuff. Well, the fact that we're doing it, even if you don't even realize it, that you are doing it is such yep. a cool thing. It's so cool. Gosh, they, they should teach this stuff in elementary school. But then, I, you know, I was a weird little kid. I kind of figured this out when I was a little kid. And <laughs> my life has been trying to go back to that and remember what I knew back then. You know, most people go, oh, you know, I didn't know anything back there. No, I'm – I. I meditate and I try to go back to what I knew as a little kid and I was saying, yeah. Yeah. So before we uh, take some calls, because, my gosh, you're you're really popular. People really want want to call in and talk to you. Or um, I do, like, little mini readings on the show. You're welcome to jump in if you'd like. Uh, okay. No pressure, but if you but if you have a deck of cards, or you're welcome to jump in. And but before we do that, um, I know that we put up on the uh, site, you know, 
how to get in touch with you. But in case people aren't on the site, how can people get in touch with you, Sasha Graham? How can they follow you? Uh, just we want them to know that. Yeah, so the easiest way to get in touch with me is just go to my website, sashagram.com. And that's really easy. It's sashagram.com. It, it, I'm also very Googleable. If you put in, like, Sasha Darkwood Tarot, <laughs> you know, I'll come up. I'm easy to find. I'm also Sasha Tarot Diva on Instagram uh, and on, I think, on Facebook as well. And for those of you in the tri-state area, I do monthly events out in Brooklyn at the Barrows Intense Tasting Room. I do a, a ghost stories by the fire night, and I do a paranormal and psychic evening where I gather all of my, my psychic and medium and astrologer friends, and everybody's available to do card readings for you while you enjoy a craft cocktail. Um, so you can find out about all of those things on SashaGram.com. Awesome. Well, I'm I'm nearby Brooklyn. I'm right in Manhattan, so I've got to I've got to get over there. <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that like, <laughs> yeah, I'd love to meet you in person. Yeah, they're really fun, and it's so great too. that we they're can really finally do time. that. Yeah, yeah, they're they're and I'm having isn't it a, great? A, we can do this. Love it. I love it. And I love that I heard as you were going in that um, the Tarot School in New York City is, is one of the sponsors of your show. They were my first tarot teachers, and they're right here, of course, in New York City. So we're very lucky to be here in the tri-state area. Yes, yeah. Big shout-out to uh, Ruth Ann and Walt Amberstone. They're like our <laughs> our parents, yes. our, our, our magical yes. parents. <laughs> they are my tarot mom and dad for sure. <laughs> for sure. Awesome. So I guess before we take some calls, um, I need to let people know, before I forget, what's coming up here on the uh, Psychic Talk Radio Network. So I just want to let everyone know that tomorrow, which is Cyber Monday, uh that sounds, I love that Cyber Monday. Um, <laughs> we have two shows on the network. We have at um, we have uh, oh it looks, we have um, actually it looks like one uh, wisdom of the soul uh, with the wonderful host Catherine. I mean, wait, wait a minute. No, we do have two. I'm like, I have everything on my little. My uh, let's see. Let me look at my notes again. We do have two shows. We have Wisdom of the Soul with host Janice Fuse, and that will be at um, that's coming up. And uh, we also have um, the psych, the Spiritual Guidance Radio with Angel Channel and Healer Catherine Hahn. That one I think is at 4 p.m. A little bit of noise in the background, so I'm for a minute. I'm going to mute you for a moment. Hold on. Now it's quiet. All good. So um, we have at at um, at 4 p.m. Pacific, 7 p.m. Eastern. We have Catherine Show, and she is an angel channel. And I don't know why we're getting a little bit of feedback. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put you on mute for a minute. So let me just do that. Okay, folks. Um, I just wanted there was a little bit of feedback. So, um, And next, on, on Saturday, December the 4th, at 11 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, there's a wonderful show with um, Mary Brown. There's a rock for that, and she's going to be doing free crystal readings. So what you want to do is definitely go over to PsychicTalk.net, look at what our upcoming shows are, and also there's an archive of everything that we have recorded of our shows. So we'll be recording this show, too, if you want to go back and re-listen. And I will be back on Sunday, December the 12th, 
11 p.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern, and my special guest will be Paulina Fay, and she is the creator of many wonderful Oracle as well as tarot decks, and we're going to be talking about her new deck, which is the Phantasma Tarot. She's like a wonderful artist. I just love her. Um, I actually pulled one of her um, tarot cards, or one of her oracle cards today. So uh, just a wonderful uh, creator. And just mark your calendar that I am always on this network on the, the second and the fourth Sunday of every month. So uh, let me put your mic back on, Sasha. Maybe see if, techn- if the, uh, the technical fairies are working with us. It seems a little bit more quieter. And today I have a, I have a helper, Mary Brown, who's helping to bring on calls. So, Mary... Um, why don't you bring on the uh, caller on area code 812. Hello? Okay, what I'm going to do is I can actually do that on my end. So I'm going to bring on area code 812. Um, where are, what is your name and where are you calling from? Hi. Hi, my name is Nicole. I'm calling from West Virginia. Hi, calling all the way from Hi. West Virginia. I didn't, I didn't catch, catch your first name. What is your first name? Nicole. Nicole, how are you doing today? Good. And, uh, what are you enjoying our um, our presentation today? Yes, it's very nice. You guys are doing a very good job. Thank you, thank you. Well, it's good to have you here. And uh, thank you. What can we? How can we help you today? Well, um, I was wondering. Like, my mom passed away in June. And I was wondering if you had any messages for her. Well, messages for my mom. Okay, um, so I just want to, I'm not, let me get clear on what your question is. Uh-huh. Yes? Yes. Yes, I'm sorry, go ahead. What, um, uh, what, uh, what do you have, um, a question that, um, for us today that you, that we can help you with? Yeah, I didn't I catch up with all the... Oh, I'm sorry. My mom passed away in June. I was wondering if you had any messages from my mother. Okay. Let me see. Well, I, um, let me see. I Let me see if I can get an angel message. Okay. And... We'll see also if Sasha can get a message. I was just wondering if I can connect with my mother though. I was yeah, if I, that's possible. Yeah, I'm 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 a tarot reader. Um I'm uh-huh. not a medium. I um I can uh-huh. I do have a message from for, from the angels. And um okay. it's and what it is is um that um you i mean it's a message it's like i mean i'm getting a lot of there's a lot of i think your mother is certainly communicating i'm getting a lot of love coming through and the message the angel message is that your mother wants you to take care of yourself Really focus on self care. Yeah. Trying to. Yeah, that that um that's 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 that will make that is that's the love that she's extending to that you need to 
focus on yourself and don't be afraid to to take care of yourself move forward and love that's 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 the thing that will make your mother the most happy and what she wants you to do uh sasha i know that you're a tarot card reader um i don't know if you also do mediumship uh so i don't know whether you can offer anything to nicole Hi, Nicole. Yeah, I um, exa- exactly like uh, like was stated. I am I'm more of definitely a tarot card reader than a um, than a medium. But when I heard your question, I did pull a card for you to see if there was a message. And I want you to know that the card that came up um, for your mother was the Three of Pentacles. And what that says to me is that. She is always watching over you and that when she is most proud, when you are actively involved in the creative process. So when you are building upon the natural gifts and the natural talents that she has always kind of prized inside of you, um, and as you grow uh, into the person that you were always meant to be. It's not only the best way to kind of honor her memory, but also to know that she is right there with you, kind of um, clapping her hands in delight and and cheering you on and loving you. So so continue to engage in, in all of the things that you do creatively that she's always kind of been really proud about you, uh, proud about uh, you uh, for um, so yeah so keep kind of keep shining to like this card is saying just keep shining keep building keep going baby yeah thank you guys thank you Nicole um, we love you very much and thank you for calling in you're welcome thanks thank. So we are going to go to um, our next call, which is uh, area code um, 845. Hello. Hi. Hi. Thank what you. What is your name and call. where are you calling from? My Thank name is Catherine. Thank you. I'm calling from New York. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Um, I was I wondering. Hope... I'm sorry. No, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes, I was wondering, please, if you see um, Bruce or Jared or possibly even both um, coming on board my project. If I present it to them, if they'll like it and would want to work on it with me. Okay. What were the two names that you want to see coming on board? Sure, Jared and Bruce. If they're coming on board. Well, what what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a card for each one of them. Thank you. And, Sasha, you can pull some cards, too, and see... I'm doing exactly the same thing, but I'm going to let you go first <laughs> to see if we match up. Okay, with the cards that usually happen. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah. I, I'm i getting a definite yes on Jared. Oh, wow. And, yeah, the, the second one, um, I'm – kind of getting like a mixed reading there. But I'm getting a big I'm getting a big I'm I'm getting a big yes on the Jared. Oh excellent. That's cra I am actually <laughs> I have the opposite. Ooh! Wow. I have a yes on Bruce and a no on Jared. The interesting thing about Bruce I will say, Catherine, is that um, 
it's not as tricky as you think it is to get him on board. And so I don't know if you were yeah. listening early when we were talking about storytelling. Um, yeah, there's something about Bruce that kind of gets you wrapped up in your head. Um, it's not what you think it is. So definitely my advice would be take a deep breath and move forward with Bruce. Wow. Huh, that's interesting. Wow, yeah, because I do get kind of mixed up in my head. Yes, you're, wow, wow, you're right on that. Wow, oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. It means let that go, it's let going Let go of there. that. Let go of that, um, yeah, yeah, that stuff yeah. in your head and just trust, just trust. Just, just wow. let it be what it is. Wow. Well, thank you. You're thank welcome. Thank you both. Thank you. Yes, I really appreciate it. And great show. Thank, thank you. you. I've been enjoying it. Yes. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Happy Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> and <laughs> call back in, you know, call back in and, and you know, uh, in two weeks. Or, you know, when we do our other show and we want to hear all about it. Because I do get whatever, you know, it's, you're going to be successful. Oh, thank God. <laughs> thank you. Oh, that's awesome okay. reassurance. Okay. Well, we are going to, we have time to uh, go to, we have a lot of callers, but we're we're going to do our best to get to every we're not going to probably do every one, but we're going to we're moving we're moving along. So let's go to caller um, caller. We're getting a lot of static on your side, Sasha. I'm going to just put you mute your mic for mute a few me. minutes, and we'll I'll, I'll bring you in. Yeah, so okay. you're going to hear hear that coming in. Uh, so we are going to. Uh, Area code uh, two five six. Hello. Hello. Your name and where are you calling from? Uh, my name is Kimberly, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hi, Kimberly. Hi. Hi. So, how can we help you today? I just like some some career navigation advice, like, you know, next steps and promotion. Because I'm in a field where I desire promotion and to be out of the place where I am right now. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sasha has a great tool. You know, if you were – as we were talking earlier, we were talking about um, storytelling, and uh-huh. so I'm going to, so Sa- Sasha, I'm going to have you go first, and because I'm I'm definitely picking up that that what you know Sasha was talking about of, as far as writing the story of your your life is a really helpful tool. So, uh, Sasha, I'm just bringing on your mic again, so I'm going to let you go first on this one. Okay. Am I there? Can you hear me? Uh, you're, and you're loud and clear. We've got no echo. So. Oh, excellent, excellent. Okay. Hi, Kimberly. It's nice to... It's nice to be reading for you. Thank you for your question. It's such a good one. Uh, what okay. I've done is pulled three cards for you and put them in something that I call a stairway spread, which is really about the steps you want to be taking in order to go kind of literally up the ladder towards the place that uh, you want to go to, but also which is really kind of in alignment with your highest self. And and in doing and, and what is the context in which you can kind of reimagine everything, your work life, so that it's something that, is really pleasurable for you. So the very first card that we've got is the lover's card, actually. And so what the lover's card tells us is that when there is anything that you want to get done in your life, and that includes moving forward at work, um, pretend like you're having an affair with it because there is nothing that will stop you when you're in that space of expansion and passion 
and love. So what I'd like for you to think about is the first thing, before you make any moves, is just to think about what literally turns you on, meaning what gets you fired up, what are you excited to do, how is it that you want to be spending your time. Once you identify that, you can begin moving forward in that direction. Now, once you begin taking active steps, and that means letting people know, I want to move on from this position, or I even want to leave this company, or I'll stay in this company, but I have to get to the next level because I can't take this anymore. Um, It's going to be really important for you to be looking out for possibilities that you might not have normally seen, and that means opening up your kind of blinders and that we we all have opportunities coming to us all the time but they often don't look the way we expect them to look. So look for opportunities, connections, and offerings that are a little outside of your comfort zone, that aren't, that aren't how you expect them to be. And a great example of this is like somebody who's looking to fall in love might ha- like be looking for this like a six foot four venture capitalist because that's what they want to fall in love with when really love is right in front of them in the form of like I don't know a short gardener right um, so be looking for things outside of your normal way that things look those are going to be the opportunities that come to you that you're going to be able to grab and make your own and your final outcome card here is the king of cups kings are in control, large, in charge, highly creative, um, and most importantly, in charge of their own destiny. Um, so I have every every inclination that, that you're going to be really wildly successful. Okay, and that's the end of my reading. If you want to put me back on mute. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're, it's, um, it's working now. There's no sound in the background. So I'm going to, oh, you know, unless we get noise. And it's interesting. Um, I'm getting yeah, similar cards. I have a card. The, the main central card is about looking at things from a, from a different way. And so when you're in a situation, sometimes you have to kind of look at it from upside down and, and get a, a new perspective and um, see that there is, you know, like there could be a gift in that. And... I do see the beginning of the year. I see um, new beginnings for you, you know, finding your purpose. And uh, this is like this time of year is, you know, it's just really a perfect time to, uh, you know, to meditate and review the past year. And I do see that, you know, um, it coming in really soon will be that new beginning that you're looking for. Okay. I hope that helps. Yeah. Yes, it did. Thank you both. Well, thank you. Thank you for calling in. We're sending you lots of love. We're going to put you back in uh, so that you can listen in because sometimes another call might come in, you know, and this is the same thing too. If we can't get to your calls, Sometimes when we're answering someone else, there's a there's going to be an answer that's going to relate to you. So thank you for calling in, Kim. I'm going to put you back in the back on hold. And uh, the next caller that I'm going to be going to is area code eight six zero. Hello, caller. What is your name? Hi, what is your Hi. name and where are you calling from? Thank you so much. It's Lisa from Connecticut. Connecticut? Okay. Yes. And what is your first name? Lisa. Hi, Lisa. Lisa. How are you Hi. today? Good. Thank you both so, so much. Uh, oh, thank you for calling in. Oh, thank you. I'm wondering if you have a message for me about um, how my year is going to wind up or if things are going to get better for me in the new year. Okay. Sasha, do you want to go first? 
I'm just uh, sure. reshuffling my deck here. Sure, sure, sure. Lisa, how are you? I've um I've pulled out a couple of cards and they're really interesting. Um so what I wanna say is that um things are going to be looking up for you, but the most important the most important and actually for you the quickest way in order to uh, to kind of turn things around. And it's very odd because oftentimes, right, it feels like all of this stuff is happening to us, right? And so we're saying, why me, why me, why me? I think that for you, uh, the most important thing that you can do, not only right now, but as as we transform into the new year, into 2022, uh, is is for you to be focused on your strength. The strength card is what's is what's come up for you. And the strength card is not about uh, brute force, and it's not about bending your life or other people into your will, but it's really about being able to harness and kind of latch on to the strength of who it is that you are. And in doing so, you will gain uh, the strength and the ability to respond what, to what's going on around you rather than to react to what's happening. So a lot of times when things might feel like they're a little bit out of control or that things around you are out of control, um, you can gain control um, by grounding yourself in your body and knowing who it is that you are and understand that you're in charge of you nobody else is, and that how you respond to anything that's happening is entirely up to you. So it's really about putting yourself in a place of strength. It's about being gentle, most importantly, with yourself um, and, and, and learning to kind of um, tame those things inside of you when you want to lash out or when you want to get even or when you want to... Um, when you when you want to be angry, it's okay to be angry, but then let it go. Then let it go so that you can let peace in. And by letting yourself kind of fill with peace, that's going to bring an, an equanimity to the world around you. Does that make any sense? Is this because my little dog isn't going to get better? I'm sorry? Is this because my little dog isn't going to get well? Oh, no, that's not what I'm saying at all. I'm not saying this at all. I'm just saying that for you. And that, well, and it's so funny because on the strength card, she's standing there with her lion, right, which theoretically is you and your animal best friend. Um, and so what I'm saying is that you being able to be strong and you standing in your strength is what's going to make the difference in everything. I don't do predictive reading. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And Lisa, what I'm getting is very similar to what Sasha's getting. Um, you know, earlier we were talking about, you know, you know how we're we're magical beings and we create, you know, our story around us. And do you do any type of journaling or writing? No. And planning? I write notes for what I'm going to do the next day, but it's not more than that. Well, one of, one of the things that the card that I'm getting has to do, the main card that I see you doing in the in the coming days and the beginning of the uh, new year is is doing something where you're you're looking ahead and you're planning and you're looking for it, advice. I mean, um, about what step to take. I mean, is, do you have a passion, something that that um, and you know, and how to plan and take action on that and breaking it down into baby steps. 
Okay. Thank you. Okay. I I hope I hope that was helpful. Um, but I do see things looking up, and you know, keep keep dreaming, keep keep writing the story of your life, and but I do think that journaling and also getting gratitude in the moment that you're here that each each day that you're here is an opportunity to change, evolve and to turn things around. Okay. Thank you so very much. Thank you both. God bless you. Have a beautiful holiday season for you. Thank God you. bless you. We love you. Thank you Thank for you calling so in. Thank you for being there. Okay. We are going to go to area code 914. Area code 914, what is your name and where are you calling from? Hello? Okay, I'm going to... Um, I'm going to put you back, and um, I'm going to get back in the queue, and I'm going to go to area code 516. Area code 516. What is your name and where are you calling from? My name is Jessica. I'm calling from New York. Hello. And your name? Can you hear me? I can hear you. Just your first name. Jessica. I'm calling from New York. Okay, but I just didn't get catch your first name. I think she said her name oh. was Jessica. Jessica. Hi, Jessica. I always like to get the name because there is power in the name. So how can we help you today? Well, I'm looking for a new job, and I wanted to know if Spirit thinks sees me with a new job. I want more money. So, look at there. I wanted to know if she you getting more money. Okay. Well, that's something that, you know, a lot of people want is more money. What? If you had more money, what? How would that make you feel? Because you, one way that you draw it to you is you have to. Um, I don't know whether we want pieces of paper with pictures of presidents on it. So, uh, what? With the more money, what would you be doing with that money? I want a car. I want to buy a car on the drive. Oh, okay. Sasha, can are I you go picking up anything? Yeah, you go first. I am actually. So, so I pulled one single card for you, Jessica, um, and it's actually a really practical card when it comes to money matters. Uh, the card that I got is the. Um, seven, I'm sorry, the eight of cups. And what the eight of cups is all about is giving up what you have in order to get what you need. Now, what that means is that you getting a car is totally actually within uh, your financial capabilities, but it means that there are certain things you're going to probably going to have to cut out. In other words, there are certain places where you may be spending money that, um, you're, that things that you don't really need anymore or aren't really serving you or um, that aren't as important as having a car. So for you, really, it's about budgeting um, and getting rid of, like, the excess stuff. Also, um, there's something for you spiritually about the metaphor of getting a car that is incredibly empowering to you because it's really like you kind of taking it next level. So it's not just about getting the money, but it's also about um, it's also about reimagining who you are, reimagining your relationship with money, um, and giving up some of your old behaviors 
so that you can move forward onto the path of kind of manifestation and abundance, if that makes any sense. Mm. Yeah, it makes sense. That's it on my end. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what I what what I'm what I'm getting on my end is in some ways similar to the previous call. You have to um, every to achieve things we have to plan and we have to take steps, you know, and break it down into to baby steps. So. Um, you know, you um, obviously you want money, so you have to break it down into steps of what, you know, like, like Sasha was saying, what are you going to do to get that money? You know, money is an energy, and in order for it to flow in, we've got to put something out in return for it. So, you know, looking at what gifts, what skills that you have, you know, and planning it out. And, you know, planning out the steps of what you're going to do uh, to get that car. I mean, it's really funny. One of the cards that I got is the chariot, which is kind of like the the, the car thing. But I'm also getting the end. you got to break it down into baby steps. Uh, you have to um, do some kind of exchange to get the car. And as Sasha mm. was saying, that would mean that... Uh, You have to look at exactly where you're spending your money because, you know, like the uh, George Carlin had a uh, joke that he would say, we can't have it all because where would we put it? So you have to, like, know what it is that you want and what you're going to give up and and what you're going to do to get it. I get it. I hope I hope that's helpful, and we're going to put you back in the queue, and uh, let's look at how we're doing timing-wise. So thanks for calling in, and I'm going to put you back in the queue so you can listen in. Thanks for calling in, and I'm going to go to uh, area code... Area code 347. Hello. What is your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Katie, and I'm calling from Georgia. Hi, Katie from Georgia. I hope you're enjoying our show today. Happy holidays. I'm loving it. I am loving it. I really am loving it. I'm definitely going to um, check your site out because I'm into – I do my own tarot, kind of like, you know, I don't know if I'm getting the right answers or interpreting the correct way, but sometimes I, you know, pick my own cards, and I'm definitely into, you know, Reiki and clearing out energy and chakra opening, so this is definitely right up my alley. Well, you're <laughs> one of awesome. our girls. Well, one thing you want to do is get Sasha's book, okay? If you to, oh, That's yes, one of the best book. books out there. Yeah, get get the book. And what is it called? It, it's called the Magic Sasha's of Tarot. Has... You, you said what? The, the name of the book is The Magic of Tarot by Sasha okay. Graham. Oh, okay. Okay, I got it. Okay, I would definitely get that book. Yeah, I I highly, highly recommend it. Okay, I definitely will get that. I definitely will get that. Great. So how can we help you today? Um, Well, I kind of, so I I live in Georgia. So I've been in Georgia for about a year. But I used to live here many years ago. So I've been in Georgia for a year. And um, I really haven't been outside that much. Um, like, or I've been a couple of events and things like that, but I really haven't been like outside because I do a lot of things from home. And um, I'm really wondering. Is, I'm trying to figure out 
um, is joy in the right place for me? Um, I'm thinking about, I definitely want to, you know, meet new friends. I want to start dating. And um, I'm just wondering about Georgia. I'm also thinking about um, Charlotte, North Carolina, or California. And um, I don't know. I, um, I'm i starting, like, a play of a, it's remote, too, a remote project. Uh, probably like in the middle of December, and hope I hope that lasts, you know, a while. And um, so I'm just, I don't know. I'm, I'm here in Georgia, but I don't feel like I've created like a a full life here, you know, where you have like friends and um, I'm doing what I love or I have a boyfriend and stuff like that. So wondering about me in Georgia or like me in North Carolina, <laughs> me in LA. Or is it just about me and me? I don't know. Oh, I've already pulled cards on this. Can I just re- go ahead? Yeah. Go ahead, Sasha. Uh, okay, yeah. okay. Because I, 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 I love these kinds of questions. I think they're so, I mean, I think it's such an important thing that you're asking, and I'm just excited by the cards that came up. So what I did, I pulled, initially I pulled one card that said the situation for you in Georgia, kind of like the energy around where you are now, and it was a moving mm-hmm. on card was what I got, which said, okay, um, definitely you should be thinking about kind of moving on probably to a new place. Um, that would be advantageous for you. And so then I pulled a card for the for um for the the East Coast and then for the West Coast, and I got – for you, I got the Empress card for California, um, which is just she is the shining beacon of creativity, fertility. Um, just I, she is. Ju- I just it, it's just like it's just very strong that California is a place only that you're gonna feel amazing, but that is gonna support all of the creative things that you're capable of doing. And I think in an interesting way also support you spiritually. I think that there is a peace that you will feel there with the sun, with the climate, um, and just the whole California vibe that's going to be very good for mm-hmm. you. So that's that's my reading on your question. And, and Tron, I'll let you take away your cards, but I would say definitely California. Okay. So yeah, I'm getting a get good... For, for Charlotte, North Carolina either yeah no then the the north carolina is not is not it's it's not as vibrant as the california one which is isn't to say like i think the thing that i think of is is there the way these cards look it looks to me like more of the same in a sense Mm -hmm. in uh I, i think it would be better for, for you know, mm-hmm. than where you're presently at, but I also, I just, I don't know. It feels like with the Empress card, like that you really take flight in California. I do feel that. You know what? Um, I like if I'm on YouTube and I see someone go visit California. I just my spirits just raise. I think um, I love warm climates. I love to be somewhere where there's a beach and just the the weather. I think the weather sometimes affects how I feel. Um, mm-hmm. um, like, I think I'm really sensitive. So, um, yeah, I do have California dreams. I do. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Well, um, you know, maybe what I'll start doing is I can start visiting because I've never even been there. So, you know, maybe I'll start visiting and things like that. And, um, and uh, I guess, you know, see where – you know, my spirit leads. Yeah, I, I mean, I would say, and yeah. and, and Sharona will probably back me up on this, a lot of times what will happen, right, if you shift your perspective just a little bit, what winds up happening is that the path appears, and it becomes simple. It be, like a path appears easily, and then you know that's really the right choice. But I, I feel like we should hear what her cards have to say um, as well. Okay. But. But, yeah, just a shift of perspective and feel it out because the universe, you know what I mean? Like, you'll know if it's the right thing, if it's the right thing. Yeah, I mean, I probably, of course, I'm it's California. I'm sure I'll fall in love with it. Like, you know, <laughs> you know, what, what, what I go there. So, yeah, um, yeah, I'm really open. You know, I don't know, you know. Things can happen fast, things can happen slowly, but I'm really, really um, 
I'm really open, you know, to uh, just, you know, exploring my options and things like that. Good. Good. Serena, what do you see with your cards? Well, I'm seeing that, it's, that you know, um, you're you're going to make a big change. But I also see that you need to prepare for it. So, I mean, you definitely mm-hmm. have to go to California. I mean, California is yeah. a really big state. And it has a lot of weather. You know, it's like, you know, there's parts of it that, you know, the weather, you know, is very warm in San Diego. You get up. So when, you know, when you're describing uh, the perfect climate, you get all climates in California. So you definitely need to, you need to go there. I mean, it's, you need to experience it and, you know, and, and, you know, just see how, how it relates, but I do see you making it a, a big change that will make you happy. Uh, if if I was to pick uh, where it, because I started doing like where in California, and I see, mm-hmm. you know, part that came up, you know, the wine country, you know, the the country that is uh, north of Los Angeles. But you got you you. Um, I'm, I'm definitely getting California, like Sasha did. But you got to plan. You got to plan. You got to. You got to um, go there and see what feels good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna plan. I'm gonna definitely, you know, save up some money, and um, also just I want to, you know, just create multiple ways for, you know, to have income where I can, you know, I can live anywhere, you know, and still have, you know, pass. No, passive income or different types of income. So I think um, what I do while while I'm here is, you know, just create those opportunities for myself so, you know, I can live the way I want to live. And you never know. I mean, I moved, I moved to different places, and I've gotten the money, like, in weeks to go, and I didn't have it before. So, but I definitely want to plan it out, start visiting, feeling it out, because I actually don't really know that many people there. But um, I'm open to meeting new people. You never know. I may meet a guy and he'll move me there. You never know. <laughs> you never know. But thank well, you. Keep planning. Thank you so much. Keep planning. Yes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, working on those, those, those streams of income so that you can, yeah. you can, Move, but do go there first. Do go there. Like I'm getting that you're gonna, if you want to check it out, you're gonna have to go there like three times. I'm getting the number three. Is the key. Okay. Okay. Well, thank, thank you for calling thank in. Thank you so much. Thanks. And I'll definitely oh, you're check so out welcome. Thank you. Great. Yes, have a great day, Yes, you must get that book. You too. Okay. Thanks. Well, I'm. I'm going to take, uh, I need to take one more call. So let me just kind of, uh, I'm going to go to area code 919. What is your name and where are you calling from? This will be our final call for today. Hi, my Hello? name is Kay and I, Hello, my name is Kay. Hi, and I'm Kay. actually calling from Georgia. So we got Georgia on our mind. <laughs> I hear you loud and clear. Okay. Okay. Um, my question is regarding um, career. Do you do you see a new opportunity coming in? Um, presently, where I'm working is just very difficult and debilitating, and I'm just I'm really open for a change because I need it. Okay. I can hear you shuffling, so I'm going to go ahead and read the cards that I that I pulled as I heard you talking, Kay. Um, I got okay. for you two cards moving up. One is the Nine of Pentacles, which is all about knowing your worth. And you are worth so much more than you are getting paid right now. <laughs> so the answer to that lies in the card, um, the second card I pulled, which is the King of Wands, which is really the ability to steer your own ship um, and letting your passion lead the way. Um, Oftentimes, 
when you're looking for opportunities or kind of which way do I need to go or what do I need to do in order to get to the next whatever it is that you want to be getting to, um, it's important to be able to kind of discern the things that sparkle to you and those wind up being the right choices or the right things that you're going for. So for you, that's going to be rooted inside the element of passion, the element of fire. So the best thing that you can be doing to kind of getting out of um, where you are right now is to look for a job that really hits you on the root chakra level of something that's exciting to you. You are a visionary. You're really strong. You have the ability to really shape the world and really kind of transform the world with the work that it is that you do. Um, So look for a position that's going to maybe feel a little bit dangerous for you. Maybe you're going to be putting yourself out on the line um, more than you ever have before, but it's going to be really exciting. Um, And most importantly, you have to make it happen for yourself. King energy is about standing up, standing strong, saying this is what I want, this is what I deserve, and this is what I'm going to go get, and then going to get it. Um, So never doubt. Never doubt your power and your strength. Um, Have your clear vision and freaking go for it. And that's that's my card (laughs) reading for you. Wow, thank you. I thought I had done that. I thought, you know, I, what you said is so on point. Um, I just applied. I had second-round interviews for a position that was in a completely different industry than I'm used to, but it was still what I love to do, you know, the legal side of things. Um, and I haven't heard from it, heard back from the fo- you know any follow-up, so I just wasn't sure where that was going, but I, I, what you said resonates with me, and that's what I've been trying to do. Stay, stop doing the same industry that I'm so used to. I've always worked in healthcare, so trying something different was was a chance yeah. for me. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you Thank What do you, you see? What do Yeah, you're welcome. What do you I'm see, Sharon? Very, very similar to what Sasha said that. Um, you, um, I mean, I see for ev- I mean, virtually everyone who called in, I see next year is going to be, I mean, it's really, this is, everything is moving kind of slow right now. So if, you, if, if what you're, you know, trying to manifest is not coming in as quickly, uh, things are going to start changing when we go into 2022. So, I'm getting that you you need to be patient. You need to know uh, your worth of what you can do. Um, and, you know, there's definitely a place uh, coming up where you're going to have money coming in. But um, it also, I'm getting like you have to get this respect for yourself, your worth, and, you know, just keep, you know, putting it out there what you're looking for. Uh I, you might hear back from that job that you wanted, and I, oh, I wow. see you. I see you writing. Did you write a thank you note for the interview? Yes. You yes, know, you, I wrote like, yeah, I wrote um, all thank you notes, and the interviews were perfect, wonderful. Had so much fun. I even stayed in contact, and you know, followed up with the recruiter. So yeah, I definitely did thank you notes, and you know, staying. Because I'm getting keep keep following up, you know, following up. Yeah, because if it's not that, if it's not that one, if it's not that one, you're 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 doing that energy. You're putting out the energy. Something is going to be coming back. So keep on keep on doing what you're doing, and I just see it picking up at the beginning of next year. Wonderful, because I am. Okay, thank you. That is beautiful. I I just have. um, I want to get the book, Sasha's book, because. I know for myself, and I'm sure you probably can pick up the energy from this job that I'm on, it is it is really, really damaging me a lot physically, emotionally. So I, I definitely want to get that book because I know I am so out of balance. I, I just went out, <laughs> out of the house, and it took everything in me just to get myself out of the house. So I, I definitely appreciate this. Yeah. You've got it. Awesome. You have everything well, so you need glad. inside of you. I'm sorry. Say that again. Oh, no, I, I was just saying just really quick. Um, 
you know, you you have everything it is that you need to heal yourself inside of you. It's all you 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 are the you are the secret and you are the key, you know? Um and 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 you can heal yourself. You really, really can. Thank you so much. Blessings to you both. Thank you. Thank you for calling in. Okay. Yeah. We're gonna um thank you for calling in, Kay. I'm gonna put you into the listening queue and guess what we've got to wrap up the show we're we've we've almost gone uh 90 minutes so uh i want to thank you everyone who called in and i'm really sorry if i wasn't able uh to take your call today but i'll be back on sunday december the 12th same time same station 2 p.m eastern 11 uh, AM Pacific and um, I just want to thank you uh, for calling in and I want to I want to thank my special guest Sasha Graham and thank you Sasha you were thank you uh, it was great to have you thank you so much for having me on it was such a pleasure thank you thank you for sharing your space with me <laughs> Oh, anytime. We'll have to have you back again. I also want to thank Mary Brown, who whose show, she's the host of There's a Rock for That. She was writing, helping me with the switchboard. Thank you. But most importantly, I want to thank each one of you, my listeners, my friends, for joining me today. And what... um. What came through, I always kind of like write as I'm taking the calls. The message that came through for all of you is think about the words that you say. You know, when you speak, and we were talking about spelling earlier. So I want you to really listen to what you're saying to yourself. And what was coming through is to say to yourself that you are strong, you are magical, that you are nuts, you are beautiful, And um, you deserve the very best. You are enough, and you deserve the very best. And that you deserve love. And don't forget, everything out there is energy. So what we put out comes back to us. And I love the part where we were talking about, write, write, if there's something that you don't like, write an empowering story about it. And, you know, pay attention to the energy because the answers are out there. And remember, focus on what is positive in your life because that's what you're going to attract into your to your life. And I want you to keep your energy and your vibrations high and also to step into your power because we are very powerful beings and you want to awaken your magic. So until we meet again on Sunday, December the 12th, with my special guest will be Paulina uh, Paulina Fay, I am wishing every one of you countless blessings and high vibrations. I love you all, and bye for now. Thank you for tuning in today. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>